take it away uh, if you want to swear at me for what i'm about to say today because obviously i've already put a disclaimer that women who are baby mamas who don't want to give access to their baby daddies who don't want to give access of children to their baby daddies they're not gonna like me so i advise you to start swearing at me now before i start speaking because once i'm done speaking your swearing game will be 150 so start now practice now in the comment section go ahead and swear at me for what i'm about to to, to say now to you I'm about to call you to order now, Chief. I'm about to call you to order, baby mama. Now I'm willing to learn. I'm so glad, Rara. I'm so glad you're willing to learn because not a lot of women like me when I speak about parenting. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, let's let's start our thing. Hi, everyone. Welcome to my channel. My name is Perseverance Maremeni also known as Madam Speaker, also known as the CEO of Self Love. If you're joining in for the first time, welcome to the family of healing, self love and motivation. And if you're returning, thank you so much for the continuous love and support that you are showing me. You are on Losing in Love podcast with Madam Speaker. We are here every Thursday from 7 to 8, live on TikTok and on YouTube. For the people who are on TikTok, please, if there are things you don't get, things you missed, please hop over to YouTube. Then you will rewind and listen to the whole thing. Or after the live has come to an end, you can go that side and watch everything all over again. If you are on YouTube and you would like to request as a guest because you want to share your thoughts and opinions, because somebody was saying to me, uh, and Divu was saying to me the other day, you don't you don't read comments on YouTube. I actually don't read comments on both sides. Um, good evening, good evening, Jane Zulbi. Um, I don't read comments because my site is really, really short, guys. Now, I'm short-sighted. And also, on YouTube, I actually go back and look at the comments again. So, the reason why I don't read comments is because I don't want to lose my trail of thoughts. And also, if you want to share your opinion, like, if you want me to engage with you, then I advise that you should hop over to TikTok, request, and come in as a guest. But bear in mind that when you request as a guest, everybody is listening to your news. You get what I mean? And that is always best advised because then we don't shut people. People who are on YouTube don't get to miss out on the comments which are on TikTok. And people who are on TikTok don't get to miss out on your opinions and your thoughts when you're on YouTube. Because then if you are requesting as a guest, everybody gets to hear, right? So today we're going to be talking about the terms and condition of you giving your baby daddy access to your child. <laughs> you're about to hate me. You already hate me. You're about to hate me some more. Now, let's take it all the way back. You know, um, I always say that this issue of co-parenting is an issue that's not going to let... We're, gonna, we're not going to let it rest because every single day there's going to be a new thing that develops that we have to talk about around co-parenting and around just giving, you know, co-parenting our children, you know. And um, there's always going to be new things that show up, that rock up, that we need to address. And today we are addressing each other. Thank you so much, guys. Um, my nails were done by Onika Nails, who is based in Lipalale. She's the best of the best of the best. Thank you so much. Anyway, I, I think before I share my two cents, because obviously as people are speaking and whatever, me, I'll be entering in the middle and just throwing my two cents here and there. So I'm going to allow our guests to, to start. You know, hi, Tembi. Hi, how are you? I'm good, thanks. How are you, my love? I'm fine. Yes. What are your thoughts about terms and conditions when it comes to giving your baby daddy access to your child as the mother of that child, as the primary caregiver? Uh, on my opinion, these the fathers of our kids, mm -hmm. I think they lack they lack or they do not have or they didn't, they didn't learn how to take a responsibilities as a parent. Okay. That's why they end up finding in a situation where we end up in a in court or in co-parenting co parent. Mm -hmm. Because if he knows how, uh, how to take his responsibility, there is no need to co-parent okay. or whatsoever. That's what I'm, that's my opinion say. So, he doesn't have any responsibility. If he knows the responsibility, there is no co-parenting. Co is this applicable when you guys are still dating or is it also applicable when you guys have broken up? Because remember sometimes 
rules and terms and conditions now come into place when people have already broken up because when they're still together in a relationship it's like one really can get away with not doing anything for the other child not taking care of the child but when you guys are now separated there are boundaries in place and when we put these boundaries in place that's where co-parenting comes to play because now you cannot get used to me like i'm your girlfriend or your wife because we're not together anymore now we need to put boundaries and make sure that the child does not suffer in the process of us trying to put these boundaries in place so when you say that there's not a need for co-parenting when the father knows what to do is this applicable even when people have broken up uh, let me talk at my experience because mm -hmm. i was once married for 20 years mm -hmm. for in these 20 years i was suffering with these kids when I, i've got three kids mm -hmm. for i discovered when i let me say I told myself, I, I will, let me stick to those two kids that I have, but you know what, in a relationship, one day it's on, one day it's off, and I end up having another third child. And mm -hmm. Some of my family members, my sisters and my brothers, they say, ah, how come mm -hmm. the third child again, mm -hmm. when you are suffering already with these two kids mm -hmm. in a marriage, your husband didn't know how to even a pamper that worth three rand. Mm. So how come to have a third child? So I think this thing it happened during and after the divorce or after in a relationship. I think it's lack of taking the responsibilities. I think when I, as a parent, I'm teaching my kids the boys that I have. I got two, three kids, mm. two boys and one girl. Mm -hmm. These two boys, I teach them every day to take responsibility. I don't want them to end up like their fathers that you can't even take any responsibility to buy even a toothbrush, mm. even a pamper for the for the little kid. My sister, so I, 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 I have a question for you. Ne? During and after. My sister, I have a question but for you. As ladies, we will end up saying, let me... We That's what I wanted to get to, actually. They, that pointing, what I want to do is make the problem. Why do you understand what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this thing, it appears during and even after also. I think you understand what I'm saying. I understand what you're saying. Ne? Experience. Okay, right now, I'm divorced. I've got three kids that I'm taking on, on each and every day. Okay. There are some other days that I will say to them, I'll go and speak to your lady and tell him that you don't have a, a loaf of bread. Mm. But they say, ah, I know what I'm saying before I'm telling you, but you know every day someone has to buy a, a coffee, you have to buy bread every day. This is a daily thing. Mm. But you tell the kids that I linked a, a week before so that I can see my budget. So, you know, it's lack of responsibilities. It doesn't know how to take responsibilities. My sister, are you with me? I want to ask you something, ne? Yeah. Because I believe that um, to a certain degree, we as women have to hold ourselves accountable for these men turning out the way that they do. The reason why I'm saying this is because when you're in a relationship with a man, you make baby number one. This man is not taking responsibility whatsoever. So they are not used to being responsible in the relationship. And you have allowed them to walk around not carrying any responsibility of the house. And then we make baby number two. This man still does not know how to take responsibility. And we have made it okay. Because remember, Tina, what we want is to be married. And we are going to do everything in our powers to protect this marriage, even though it is hurting us. So these men don't even know how to become men because we are saying, Mina, Gingu Tembi, I will carry this burden because I am a Proverbs 31 wife. Now, when the relationship comes to an end, it came to an end where a man, when you were a single mother in this marriage. And with you being a single mother in this marriage, when the marriage comes to an end, how is this man now supposed to be a responsible father when he does not know how to be responsible? He never was responsible, even in the relationship. And when you look back at how with a man who has been irresponsible, who does not even know the price or the price of milk, it's simply because we have been allowing them to get away with this behavior while we were still married. And now when we step out of these relationships, we expect them for some reason to step up and have these boundaries and now be able to be fathers that they were never 
those type of fathers and we allow them to not be fathers because we're taking over the responsibilities when we're still married. Uh, what I'm saying is it, I don't want to show the, I don't want to tell my kids that your father is a failure. Mm -hmm. I want them to see that their father is a failure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's why I said, let me send to them for the little mm -hmm. thing, like a bread, like a sugar, like even a shoe polish for the school. Mm -hmm. I say to a lady, I don't have a shoe polish. Mm -hmm. Or say, I, I will be next week. Yeah. So I think those things prove that one thing and Tina is Satata is Christus, a severa, Saifuwa, the sink, who may say, who was male, says the summer that prove that one woman. But all this to your suffering. Okay. We we fear to what you want to do. You chat this one about fun this. In 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 thirty days, saying divorce. Let me be a prophet that one. Yeah, na bamba dele on a yet in shad. But while I'm suffering inside each and every day for twenty years. So I think of the cooperating thing. On my on my opinion, on my experience, it doesn't exist. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, I, I hear you, my darling. I hear you. Let's hear what Portia has to share with us. Uh, there's a lot that's going on. The dynamics around co-parenting, they are just too many, man. Uh, Portia. Hi, darling. How are you? Good, thanks. How are you, honey? I'm good. My breakfast is slow, so I'm trying to get fast before you cut You were saying? I'm saying my battery is low, so I'll try to to be fast on whatever that I want to say before it cuts off. Okay, so if it cuts you, the response you will find it on YouTube, ne? But yes. you can go ahead and share your story now. Okay. I want to talk about co-parenting. For my case, it's not working because... Okay, let me say, before the relationship ended, the father was present until the child was two years old and then we broke up mm -hmm. so it seems like the breakup for the both of us was also his way of breaking up with the kid because the guy was not present at all and then i think it's three years later mm -hmm. after i started working mm -hmm. that's when he came back wanting to be a parent we must co-parent and all that so i was not bitter at all i wanted to give my child an opportunity to have a relationship with the father Mm -hmm. So the problem started when the terms of co-parenting came with us having to fix a relationship which I was not interested on. Okay. Could in a way, out the guy say he will only be present if I get back with him. Okay. So every time, whenever you want to talk to him concerning a kid, to him, it's not only about the kids. So it came to a point where I moved on, got married, and then I decided to cut ties with him. Mm -hmm. So I decided that whatever communication regarding a child, it will go via our parents. Because mm -hmm. between us, there's no way we'll reach a common ground. Because whenever I try to co-parent, guy thinks I still want to get back with him. Mm -hmm. And when I raise that issue, maybe with my sisters, they will just say, no, nah, I'm bitter. I don't want to give him an opportunity to be a parent. Why is it not the case? Mm -hmm. The problem with him is that whenever you talk to him, it's also about let's get back together. Mm -hmm. So meaning it will never happen for him to be a parent. You want to be a present father, provided I'm also part of the... Of, of the, the package, home. yes. Yeah, so that's why I'm saying for my side, co-parenting with the baby daddy will never work. Okay, so now even after you are married, he still wants to co-parenting, co-parent with you and still see you and you guys be together. That's what he wants. Maybe he will call you. I even blocked his number. I don't know how many numbers I've blocked. Mm. He even tries to call via private. Mm. When I hear is the voice, I go and he calls. And he knows this. He say, I want to see the child. Mm. I came to a point where I decided to take my child to stay with my parents so that whenever he wants to see the child, he will be, have, he will be having access there. Because mm -hmm. it was starting to cause issues on my marriage. Mm -hmm. But yo, I... I think maybe the guy, I don't know, I don't know how to explain that. Okay, let me give you a recent story that happened. Mm. During the Easter weekend, I went home to visit my parents. 
because usually the child that stayed with my mother, I take him during school holidays. Okay. So I went to my parents to fetch the child, and then on Easter, I went back there to return the child. While I was still sitting there, I saw him coming, and then he knocked, started to cause drama, saying he wants the child. And then my, my mother was like, we told you, when you want to see your child, inform us on time mm -hmm. so that we can prepare the child, and then you take the child, you go and see him, and then you bring him back. We're not going to deny you access. Mm -hmm. Mind you, the guy's not even supporting a child, doesn't even know the shoe size or the grade the learner the child is in but he's coming back with demands now after the easter mm -hmm. saying yeah you should send the child to a private school because you are waking yeah hey now nah, i should send the child to a private school because i'm waking yeah is not supporting the child but it comes with demands of what a child must have and must not have why why have you not taken this guy to maintenance court is he not waking He's not working, so I, I thought, well, there's no need for me to take him to maintenance court. I can support the child on my own. Mm. But now he's coming with such demands that I don't understand. Why am I should be the one taking the child to a private school? Mm. I told him, if you want to check a tech, to take a child to a private school, it's fine. Mm. Go find a school, pay the fees for the whole year. Buy school uniform, pay for the transport, do everything, because I'm not going to participate in that. I don't have money for the private. Mm. And you are saying, yeah, you see, that's just because you have another child, you no longer care about this wow. one. Yeah, that's what I'm going through. You know, a, a, a friend of mine once made a joke. Ne? It was a joke about how it's important for us not to make children while we are in high school because the people that we make children with, they, 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 they am when they amount to nothing and you succeed in life, you have to come back and you have to be embarrassed by having a useless baby dead in the villages, you know? Um, but besides that, when you decided to take the child, how old is the child now? It's eight. The child is eight now. Yes. Is, is it a boy or a girl? A boy. Do you guys have like heart to heart conversations? I mean, I mean, we are now in the ages where we can really sit and have a uh, heart to heart conversations with our children. Do you sit and, and talk to yes. this boy about how he feels yes. about staying with you? I mean, he's old enough to have a phone now. Do you, do you talk to yes, him about... <clears throat> I beg your pardon? He does have a phone. Okay. Are you, are you, have you ever been in a position where you speak to him about how he feels about him moving to stay home with the grandparents because of the father and how that has affected him or if he's best staying with you? Or is, is, is the fact that the baby daddy is a problem, the only reason why you took the child to stay with the grandmother, and how has the child been behaving since you took the child to stay with the grandparents? Yes, I tried to have the conversation with the child whenever he visits, and then what he will always say is just that he wants to come back and stay with me. Mm. So I've decided to find a school for him around, so I will take him back next year. Mm. So the issue pending is the issue of the baby date. Mm. How am I going to handle that if I take my child back? Mm. So the biggest issue with the baby daddy is what? Is it him calling you? Is it? Do you feel harassed by the baby daddy? Because if the child now has a phone, then that means that the baby daddy can speak to the child. If the baby daddy now wants yeah. to talk to you, sorry? I feel harassed because the reason I bought a child a phone is because I wanted the communication between the two of them to be between them and not include me. Yes. The guy will call, video call around her and say, I want to speak to a child. Mm. Yeah, so that's why I decided to buy a phone for the child so that whenever you want to speak to your child, call him. Mm. So last week I decided to go to his parents mm. and explain how he's behaving. And then they say they will have a meeting with him. So since last week when they talked to him, I haven't received any calls. So I don't know, maybe he's silent or his mother managed to get through to him now. I don't know. Mm. Okay, I'm seeing a comment yeah, here where somebody is saying that regarding the parenting, you need to go via the, the family court to get a parenting plan so that you guys, your parenting will be will be by the book, you know? So that means that he's not going to do anything which is outside of the parenting plan. Mara, because whenever you already know his capabilities, you know this person is not working, he's not capable of doing anything or whatever, then at least you will have some formal documentation which is going to protect you and give you peace from this person without having your child suffering in the process. Because for me, honestly, honestly speaking, I do believe that, you know, I'm a very honest person. For me, I feel like... I don't I, I feel like a child having to stay in the in the okay I'm not I'm not, not the village I'm just assuming sorry for for you to take a child at home to the parents it's like the child is 
being punished and the child is suffering and and the child is innocent in this case you understand and i do understand that with the frustrations of you being married and having another child and this man trying to disturb your marriage you are trying to do what is best for you but i appreciate the fact that you are saying that you are looking for the school for the child because the child also should not be suffering you know because of the two parents remember you know i always say that we as the parents we pick each other ne? if the woman yes. if, if my baby daddy is a piece of shit I am responsible for picking a piece of shit, a useless piece of shit as a baby daddy. And I have to suffer the consequences of picking that type of baby daddy for the rest of my life. But in the, in the, in the same breath, the child that you gave birth to is not supposed to suffer because of the type of baby daddy that you chose. The child must not suffer. You understand what I mean? So if, if, if it means that there has to be a documentation in place, if it means that there has to be a protection order in place, if it means that all these things have to be done in place so that whenever you will be protected, you will have peace of mind, you and your family will not be disturbed. But also at the same time, the child is not suffering because that's the common denominator, the most important thing here. The child is not supposed to be suffering from the decisions that you guys made of picking each other as baby mama and baby dad. You understand what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, so yes. when it comes to having a meeting with the family, if nothing has amounted from the meeting that you had, or maybe they have not gotten back to you, maybe you might also consider having to go the family court route so that you have a parenting plan in place. If you are the only person who is providing for this child, this person does not even have to tell you what to do for the child, as long as the only thing that will be noted down will be just visitation rights to say, when is this person supposed to have a child? If this person is supposed to visit or come take the child, that's how it's going. You're going to do things by the book. You get what I mean? And also this person is not to call you because when he calls you then you are going to you're, you're going to open a case against him because it doesn't help you trying to be considerate of somebody who's trying to destroy your relationship and i can tell you now it's not like maybe he wants you back because he feels no no, no sometimes it's just jealous because sometimes people look yeah. at you and they feel like hey like somebody can really look at me and feel like i don't I, I like nobody will ever want me you know until they see me moving on with my life having somebody, then all of a sudden, eh, I want you back. I want, they feel, trust me, in most cases, we think that women, we think women are the ones who hold men with babies. We think women are the ones that when she has a baby uh, with a guy, he's my man, he's my man. No, even men can trap you with a baby. In fact, in as much as they're not, they're not, they, they don't talk a lot. They are the ones who will really feel like they are entitled to you because they have a baby with you. Hence, he will want to come and provoke you and your family because he has a child with you and he feels like he was first, so he will be last. So he is more important. Yeah. Let me tell you something he said on our last phone call. I, to I asked him, what is it that you're always forcing to communicate with me whereas there's nothing to talk about? Mm -hmm. He was like, yeah, even if you are married... Your husband should know good you have a child and that child has a father, which is me. So I will always talk to you whenever I want to. That's where I drew the line. Right? Hey, this guy is, is becoming a psycho now. Mm. Yeah, I, so that's why, I, that's why I decided, okay, let me just go to his parents, inform them what is going to happen. Because I didn't want them. One day they will say, now nah, I'm denying them access to a child. So mm. I told them, well, if ever you never see your grandchild, it's because of how your son is behaving. Yeah. Because I've been tolerating him for the entire five years. Mm. A guy can go silent for six months. Then out of nowhere, he remembers that he has a child. Mm. And then he starts calling, yeah, I want to see my child. I want to see my child. Mm. And then sometimes the child will go there. And then when he comes back, and then the last time he's told me, right, Mama, please don't send me back. Because the guy will just come pick me up and then drops me there at the grandparents' place. He leaves early in the morning, comes back in the night. The whole school holiday, I didn't even see him. Mm. Could you understand the, the thing? Or a person comes to fetch a child, but they don't have time for that for that child. Yeah. It's just a way of causing drama. Mm. And yeah, no. that's when I decided, no, I'm putting my child. And the, thanks for the advice of the family court. I will really consider that because mm. I see we are going to have a problem. Yeah, for your peace of mind and also for your family, you have to consider that. Like, there's no double up. And also, you know, uh, because your child is old enough now, it's good because the child is able to speak for himself. If he says that he does not want to go to that family, then you don't have to force him to go there. If he says that he does not want to have this seasonal, because I'm seeing somebody in the comment section talk, talking about seasonal relationships. So it's the worst because you are messing up with the child's pattern. You are messing up with the child's well-being because two minutes you are here, two minutes you are gone. That's emotional damage on its own to your child. You understand what I mean? So Exactly. 
so in as much as this person is behaving like the way that he's behaving and the child is old enough to speak you should that's what i'm saying Uri, you, you should normalize from time especially because literally you are the only parent that this child has normalize having guys now now, now i recommend i strongly recommend having heart to heart conversations with your children like from time to time have these deep conversations mara don't formalize it when you have these deep, deep conversations i always speak about how it's so much easy you know when you're in your playful mode or you go for for ice cream go to spare when they're busy jumping jumping there bit by you know when i agree as the mom you will know that okay this is the issue that i want us to address so bit by bit as you are talking as you are eating as you're doing this and that you'll be talking about this so how do you feel about this so what about this and that i'm telling you kids will open up to you without even being aware that they're opening up then you will know for sure what is in your child's heart because this thing yahori well the child is still young or you, you you guys are busy fighting back and forth you're doing this and that and you're not involving the child at the end of the day when the child is older that's why i was i was very much concerned about the child being taken away from you as the mom. Okay, I believe that her, her, her phone is off because she said she was on battery low. Um, so now as I was still saying that when the child is being taken back and forth, back and forth, they have to suffer now the consequences of our, 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 our doings, you know, because for me, it feels like if you're going to be taking a child to stay with the, um, with the parents or the grandparents, right? Because the father is the problem then the child is being punished for God knows what, you know? So meaning that you literally have to to look at the at, at the best interest of the child. Okay, I see somebody's trying to comment, is trying to request here. Please don't request as a co-host, request as a guest so that we can have more guests coming in and sharing their story. So I recommend these heart-to-heart -heart conversations with our children, even though we, you can break it up into small pieces and also make it playful and fun and not too hectic. You get what I mean? But I'm telling you, there is a lot that you can actually get from your children about how they are or where they are and how they feel about their current situation. And children can really teach us how to parent them. You understand? The best way for you to be, to, to, to be, we are, we are parents, ne? Mara, we are students to our children because our children are teaching us how to parent them. And the only way that they can teach us how to parent them is when we listen to them when they speak, when we, we, we give them a platform for them to be able to openly speak about how they feel. You get what I mean? Um, Rara, hi, my darling. Good, how are you, honey? I'm good. Yay. So now since I said I'm, I'm also willing to learn, mm -hmm. but at the same time, I feel like Maybe my baby dad is the one on him toxic, or maybe we both toxic. Go on, my darling, ne? Address all. For the sake of those who don't know Rara, me, I know Rara, ne? And I mean, I believe one or two people here know Rara. For those who don't know Rara, just brief us on your issue with your baby daddy all over again, and then we will tell you, me and my people, you know, we are very honest, we will tell you what we think. Okay, so. Yeah, English composer. <laughs> uh, okay, you can mix, my sister. Okay, let me just apologize first to the people who are not from South Africa who always say in the comment section, please use English. Guys, uh, I'm always torn in between because there are people by Lemur, they really want to express themselves and the best way for them to express themselves is using their mother tongue. And I'm not going to deprive people from just expressing themselves because of that. So I do apologize for parts of these videos where you'll find people speaking in their mother tongue. So Rara, if you feel like the best way for you to express yourself is with your mother tongue, um, fire away. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, uh, now baby daddy, I got, it's, it's a guy or like, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. ne? Mm -hmm. who dated when I was still young, so relationship, it was, it was toxic, nally abusive, mm -hmm. like, not non sharper. You know, yeah. mm -hmm. so, so when we broke up, I when are you are lazy, you don't want to do anything, and then right now the you know, all kind of things. So I was like, okay, sharp. I was never tired, but I was hurt because they keep it sort of... Okay, just hold on, Rara. Just hold on. Just hold on for me. Somebody is saying that I should translate as we go. Guys, do we all agree that I should translate or it's going to be a problem for other people because I don't want to leave anybody out. I don't mind translating, but it's going to make the story even longer. But um, do you want me to translate or whoever misses out will miss out if they don't understand the language? Okay, somebody is saying no straight up. Just Rara, continue. There's no translation. <laughs> Your voice okay. is very rigid. <laughs> so... So, okay, 
special. So na even na le na like relationship are not only toxic to her. Na her talent, na her well, and her talent, na that supporting one. Like na didi mala asa iri anything. So her well, na ki mo na bang a present father, mo bu pilo mbang one. Okay. And then when her talent, her talent are like permanently so akrang nyan. It was around September. When I was on tour, I did Zoom. And then I would have to the trip. And then unfortunately, I said, but then when I went on a tour, I did Zoom. So I had to make a plan. How old is the baby now? Only four. Okay. Yes. So I had to make a plan for when I did Zoom because when I why you two already for I did Zoom? Can we let her know? Papa, how are you going to tell her I did Zoom? So Oscar, sharp. Okay, to recall it 2022, 2022 from September until December. So, in December, I'm phone it. Yeah, but as I'm going to Christmas, I'll be going to lay by. Look at you, no, this is lay by. Okay, fine. January, January, I didn't call. Mm. I made my own plans so to get covered. I'm going to start creating everything. And then I was quiet. March, when I'm not with day, I go create him by naga cake and everything. So I had to call him. I get my phone, my phone is for a gay girlfriend. Girlfriend, they are. They get feel how they when I let papa re molest to let communicate because they feel how they it pain. They massage. Oh, she will communicate with you. Yes. Okay. I was like, okay, if I no feel responsibility, eh, why corner and why back? He's staring, my sister. He's staring. Hmm. Yes. So. I will never tire that. It's fine. So I can communicate. I'm going to come out. I'm going to was like, uh, Papa, we're going to play chalet. And then Nara can go drop on and buy those stuff. I was like, okay, no problem. If we feel early, I will never tire. Mhm. I'm going to feel early. I have to learn to play and get a room. Let's chalet. It's fine. Get a room. Let's chalet. After March, we're going to play one. We're going to play two weeks. So Papa, thing over here. Scrap chart. Okay. Mona also hi, ona le scrap jar. So baby, they do over a couple of things. So that girl got the one. I will like make them paint the one. I will una hana kung ano yun yan. Kota si I will ina le oh let's un chun chun chun. Ya para sa one I get un chun mirang one I udi chila. Yeah, but when the one one was now working as a mechanic or what? Yes. Yeah, but when so okay i came back i was like yo auntie so one has a turban. The lady sends a breastfeed one, and one know by then. Nali, 2023. Nali three years, yes, cause no we're four. Nali three years, and then the phone. Like immediately, I get. I just no good time to get phone. Ella, Papa thing, and I'm like, why girlfriend tau any ni sawa na wapai linda ke mama wa na and aksa ni ni sawa na mar girlfriend tau no is breastfeeding my child. Yeah, udit na kai ubita watu alu mayana tengle hair adit and no, it's because of and whereby I know weak point there muanaga how like how lame if oru bala lame ora to chara it's well like how bala ora to chara lame na ora to irayal kuta kana kama kala magala so kapatang mayana la kara if na uchar it's well na sa menor unyoko nyanya so why no mu nyanya si awa hore na ki bita kina ka baby daddy bag okay ausa teng ausa baby daddy ang phone ila anroha you need to move on. I wanna hurry. I was so bad. I was on to be bitter. I was in any relationships about to whatsoever. I was like, okay, fine, it's fine. So Mishima asked for Abulela. How can we let her in? Are na ane chalet. You go pay chalet that crash. My injury came from phone. It's got motor got crash. It's three fifty. Oh, but then at three fifty, everything got crash. Go in. Na I will sort everything. Dijo, di lo talk haba. And then the upper on Alwen are traveling about Kretche, Hyrule Moen. Kretche get 350 when I'm in a transporter. If Kretche won a little trippy, away, are sharp. Our Helena go up at a crutch, Mushimani, I did my phone or Arkit like Romela. I was status are regularly a strong person. I don't want to have a cop, but a nice life problems. You were quite okay. So around October, Mosadia Buddha, the baby daddy, and Funela are Nerko Pangwana. 
Mara, you go back like Ugano Watlalena because I remember Arabal Uno Jaren then visit and find sharp at least someone. Our Awela Mura Mama, baby did Kukamana a phone. A Kukupo Colonel Manaka, a woman who moved on. So I felt like in that baby did he have Kuha, Oyankare, Naka, some matter. Yeah, like Naka some system or Auga some matter. So Kablogger baby daddy, Kablogger familiar Kuha, a whole the whole year. Until the second January, I was here a phone. I remember the picture because we said I would die again. I only come in. I would die. I'm sad. I would die. The present, we will pull on one. You wanna like now? I go find the picture. I'm going to go shop that day. So I remember the picture. You're a great mom. Come on, eh? Mom, you're going to go for all away. Papa, we're not back. We will pull on one. I was like, now Zanka, come on, Papa, one. Go on one. I'm going to start get caught in it. Long one, And I felt like. That's the only way. And the papa mo ana lena. Oba papa ena feel. Ha feel or ena. Onyo oba papa. Ke manyo oba papa mo pelomba mo ana. Cause ha fo una ke balo bar. Papa we tla weekend te kote la di dano ano ne. Weekend te mo ana mo emela one dano. Ke na san si ke re ke dano ano we ano. Inza ke na chale te na san si ke nyake plano re. Mo ana kere dano ano because papa yo mo te bise dano. I was like if you to hold it like that, I need to go on Ellen Namuho, I give a reg. Man, I have to make a plan. Mm. So, Shapo January have a phone. Now, legally, like Madam Speaker, that's not even a salakal like a moon crew. Legal more positions they two air whereby go high. They felt like Mushiman, but they were going to Mushiman or a disrespecter and Bona, they are doing everything for one. Mara. I will have a Mushiman in your go and Len like a fit of Hori. Wana Kalena. So I was like, I can always this guy back. But like now my parents are disrespect. So yeah. I was like, 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 yeah, party, you young one. Are yes. Now, what party, Mushimana Digimal, are I gonna chill it? Then I out loud. Live an hour, we will serve an hour of creature in Ganaga to someone I got a missus pay. Karma, one hour would Jack have an hour. Ever can give up a bone. I will let you lots of your way. No, 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 the plan sick to an acre cake, the party peg, caricular outfit, even like I told her and Gabbaka outfit, catch an outfit in Gabbaka cake because on a dear bar. Our Mishima Nafeta gave you the status that party. I'd say the status seller, the beer are a yeah, Munna have provided or one like a one. Girl, heaven, I get a hair, or it's woman at the whole way. So no, I should not disappear. Regular Colloy. Hagan Mozart and Napole has in it, and Nago regular Rakala Colloy. Mara Arena Chaleta Hai, Yakoloi. So Nagit, if you look, Cosco have a filler, none the bitter one or a Ena or Kifur Ena self on a lot of Mishman or a young. Cosm Toma Long Halwell, Ota was a guy, and Ota was a girlfriend die, and another girlfriend die was a shop. Ota one more. Come, yeah, that bev the young one after weekend. I would tell him, said I ever cooked the one. Ke mota kere ibi la utiki di kongo hendu ba kupela mwa na wena out aribi la kerwa tere mwa ekamu na na lo na rulu kisedi ibi lo ipona u fresh ebi an hey mota tere mwa no kare eh eh again if co parenting ya ogor na lo na ruela ni then na kubat na ibi leke happy moke le nta kesa jolly kesi na mota kare na ke happy an mota aga aga kara di message tere an aga si di rad so na ona manu aiki tiki re ke po blog eh. Oh, and the maintenance cost for Nike if you are another one to at least one need. Hey, my sister, let me allow other people to to advise you on your situation. Now and say, but my sister, you know me. <laughs> <laughs> you know me. 
Is there anybody else on the panel who wants to say something to Rara, guys? Hi, sister. Uh, Good, how are you, darlings? Uh -huh. Okay, next person, Ralewoha, I support the maintenance court issue. Na shem na 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 maintenance quarter will go until Jesus comes back. Shem lianga ba millionaire. Kaibata five hundred euro. Kaibata. I want it. Next person to advise Rara. Hi mama, how are you? Good, how are you today? I'm good, thanks. Yo, guys, that was only co-parenting. I've got a similar case. So, so basically, my daughter is. 13 this year, right? Mm -hmm. Now 13, got the 80th of April, so on 90. Oh, guy, Azanka Fona, Azanka Esanesa, like against all a Luto, nothing. So I've got a situation whereby baby daddy is present when Transara Jolly. Harasa Jolly is not present. Okay, oh. fine. So now I'm, I'm done, 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 done that chapter. It is closed. It cannot be back and forth with one thing. Mm. So, no, totally. Like baby mama drama. That's not even what we're having. We're having family drama. Because whatever his mom says goes. So his mom is, uh, you need to bring the baby here. And my thing is, I don't, I don't mind taking my daughter, bringing my daughter to you guys. Not at all. Mm. What I do mind is that you guys do not want to maintain or support the child in any kind of a way. So I'm in KZN and they are in Pretoria. So I cannot be paying for my daughter's ticket from Durban to Pretoria every month. How can you wanna why why are they not paying? Why are they not paying for these tickets? Uh their thing is that Abona Abarumala wana a case at the end. So how to like so I think I was twelve and he was sixteen. Ne? And we dated until I turned tw until I was twenty-four and he was twenty-eight. So the whole thing was basically based on him and his mom. Let me just say it like that. Mm -hmm. Whatever his mom wanted, whatever his mom wanted, he uh, had to do. He did it. Mm -hmm. When I wanted something done, it wouldn't be done unless his mom says it's okay or not. So basically, I proved that I was the one who got the thing. Mm -hmm. So right now my dilemma, my biggest dilemma, and I hope you guys can advise me. My daughter does not want to have a relationship with him at all. Okay. Because her thing is he's not supporting me in any kind of way. Okay. When I you're trying your best in every way possible or on support there, you you know, you always make a plan. What is he doing? How old is your daughter so now? I don't know what I should do. How old is your daughter Should now? Should I force her? Should I not? She's 13. Okay. Um, a 13 year old hormones are raging, guys. So everything, everything, Jay, is happening to a body of a 13 year old. You expected, they expected to be behaving some kind of way. I wouldn't say force her to have a relationship with the dad. This is me. I wouldn't say force her to have a relationship with the dad. I would advise that if you can spare a few bucks for her to attend therapy, then you should do that. Not because you are trying to get her to be convinced to see the father, but so that whatever it is that she has in her heart against her father, she can heal from all of it. So that as she's growing older, she will make the right decisions with the healed heart. You understand what I mean? Because I kind of feel like she's not speaking from the point of knowing very well what is good for her. She's speaking from a point of hurt because of this person's absence. You get what I mean? So you really have to consider getting her the help that she needs. My second question would be, okay, so he doesn't, 
I, I didn't go the maintenance route or anything. I, I had that mentality of what I, I'm working, I can afford it, what not, what not. Mm-hmm. So for her, it's a different thing. I don't know. I don't know what she's understanding if I say, Mom, you should take him to court for maintenance or whatnot and whatnot. Um, what could I be forced to get, give him visitation rights, whereas she does not want to do it? No, if she does not want. That's, the whole di- that's my whole dilemma, that I don't want to go to maintenance court and then be told that, no, your daughter's not visiting him. So that's not how it works. That's not how it works, babe. There's, there's, there's maintenance court and there's family court, right? So the maintenance court, regardless of whether this person has a relationship with the child or not, they still have to be taken care of the child. You know, the need, the basic needs of the child need to be taken care of, regardless of whether the child and the father have a relationship or not. Then the the the, the family court route. That's the parenting route. That's the route of the children's court where then the court decides on the visitation of the child. But also in this case, because the child is old enough to speak with her mouth, she will she will she will bring her petition to say what what are her issues. You know? That's what I'm saying that all of these things as these things are going to be unfolding, if you want to go that route, then therapy is the best thing that you should do for your child, you know. So that um if you go in the main Maintenance route. The maintenance route is just there on its own. The, the guy is, has to be the one that says, "Listen, I want to be able to see my child and go the the, the legal route." You understand what I mean? Oh, okay. Yeah, but the truth oh is God. like I one is not. I can come in. Um, yeah. Maguana. I am. This is my lady speaking. Um, so, okay. Um, I will try to break it down the best way I can. Eh? with what's going on with your daughter and uh, basically i went through the same thing when i was her age so both my parents um dad my dad got married again my mother got married again with that being said um so this is what happened i would ask like where's my dad where's my dad and then i pursued the journey of wanting to meet him right because i thought i knew or i was trying to figure myself out um so with that being said um it, i think what helped me is meeting him and knowing and getting to know um where my mother was coming from because now um i'm 28 and i had to figure out a certain certain things by myself because now i i had to experience certain things and i see where she was coming from because when i was younger i was a little bit um ignorant to certain things um not being able to reason um lashing out because of anger basically just acting out of character um so i had to do some i had i think i was in grade 11 when i was 17. um i had to go to therapy I wasn't really um, expressing everything that I was going through, but that helped a lot because it kind of like um, put things into perspective. How does it put things into perspective? You get to speak to someone, they get to read your mind, basically. Um, Okay, um, how are you coping? They would ask you certain things. And even today, I'm still going to therapy here and there. Whatever therapy that I can get in, I'm still going to therapy at my at my 28 year old age. And it's never too late to start. But it cleans up a whole lot of anger. Mm -hmm. Um, As I was saying, that it creates a whole lot of anger, and you feel like you were not loved enough for the next person to do right by you or right as a parent in jail, um, they should have, they should do better, but they have their own reasons to why they are not doing certain things. But um, I heard you saying something about, um, 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 let me think, you said something about the, the, the mother-in-law and how the, the dad wants approval from the mother-in-law. I'm going through the same thing with my daughter. I have two kids. I'm go- I was I'm going through the same thing with my firstborn. Their fathers are not the same. But with that being said, um, you will never impress a person that is trying to see fault in whatever you do. Um, do the best that you can for yourself first in this instance, because you need to be selfish. Yes, you're sending Moana to KZN to meet the dad, and she's vocalizing right now what she's ready 
well, she's in touch. I, she, I can say she's in touch with well, how she's speaking. Um, so just give her a little bit of space to decide for herself on what she want, what route she wants to take. Um, but then, and as re, in regards to the, the in law, or you know, make them happy, and, and as long as the mother is still there. There is literally nothing you know to do about I know it. But just take it. I hear what she's saying. With, with her specifically. The person that is. Okay, I think we've got a little bit of a problem with the network because people are speaking over each other. Hello. Can you hear me? Um, and in, in, in relation, um, we can take the maintenance court route, but. Um, yes. I think the lady has a network problem. You can see she's on two bars. Yeah, I think, I'm still here. Okay. I think you've got a network problem. You you kind of buffering. <coughs> okay, I'll move around from my side. I'll try moving around. Okay. But that that is a two cents. Um, yeah, you can. I, I I guess I've 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 covered most of the bases or what I wanted to say from my side. Okay. Um, Makwala. So basically, I, I, I hear what Naledi is saying, and um, yes, oh, oh baby is in a way attending some sort of therapy now. Mm -hmm. um, she's very vocal, very vocal. Good. Uh, we talk a lot. I'd say she's mature for her age, okay. uh, to a point where I'm able to sit down with her and show her my budget and her understanding our way of living and everything. So when it comes to her grandmother, like baby daddy's mom, mm -hmm. she wants us to actually be a couple. Eh? You know? Who wants who to be a couple? Grandmother. Baby daddy mother. Once you oh, yeah, and, you and, and her son to be a couple. By force, yes. So uh, the only way she knows how to actually I guess manipulate is by saying we're well, not stay away from this one because anyway he's a you know. Okay. Um I don't have an issue with them being with baby. I don't have an issue at all. My only thing is that um, I didn't bring the child into this world at all. Mm -hmm. It took two to tango, let it take two to raise this child as well. My main thing is it, it's, it's not always about money. You know, the smallest things, the call, the SMS, the checking up, are you okay, how school, for me, that is what's important. That's mm -hmm. why I've never, said, I've never taken him to court because it wasn't about the money from the beginning. You know, so now I don't know if I'm wrong. <laughs> you guys will correct me, but now it's definitely to spite him. I'm taking him to court just to spite him. Nothing else. It's just to say, because I can't force you to have a relationship with her. I'm definitely gonna force you to pay something. Mm. You know, that, that that's I'm doing it. I don't wanna lie. I'm not financially. I'm not rich. Yeah. But I I, I know how to sort my things out i know how to put my two cents to work for me so and I me don't know. personally i feel like i feel like either way regardless of what your 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 what your your your, your reasons are behind that at the end of the day him taking care of his child is is is, 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 a, is a it's a it's a thing he's, he's supposed to do that you know it, it, the child needs to be taken care of by both the parents regardless of whether the other parents want the other parent wants to spite the other parent or the motive behind, but at the end of the day, him taking care of the child is what is needed. He's supposed to do that. It's a mask. It's a mask. Yes, you know? it's a mask, guys. And I think, I think a lot of a, a lot of people are getting it wrong. Mm. You know, um, the men will say that we use the kids to get back to them. Mm -hmm. Because we still in love or whatnot or whatnot, yeah. which is not true. Yeah. Most of the time, most of us, as a cell phone, we communicate now because of the hurt and the trauma that they've put us through. But we are willing to communicate just for the good of the child, for us to cooperate, for co-parenting, good communication, for the sake of umtuan, umtuan, umtuan. 
But I don't know. Men are just better, guys. Men are just better. They don't The thing is, let me tell you something, my sister, ne? Uh up, we come across as the bitter ones because we are the loudest mouths of them all and it's not always the case Jim. i can tell you that much and there's one there's one thing that really disturbs me it seems like almost every baby daddy will only comply when either there's a court order in place or when they want to get back together with you it's like these are the only two things that will make them comply I mean, with me, I have the, my daughter's father who's taken me to children's court for contact, man. Mm -hmm. um, and then, okay, fine, he was granted that. And then at the end of the court case, he's like, he wants a DNA mm -hmm. of the child, but he's already been yeah, given rights. Yeah, and I was like, no. this guy... I'm like this guy. Is he? Does he want to be in his daughter's life for Moana? I mean, or he wants to come back, find a way to come back, and off record, like without the courts, or when he would come for visits to see Moana, he'd say no. Like, um, how about giving them some medical aid? I see you expecting again. I'll put you and your baby that's coming more medical aid. I'm like, guy, did we ask you for money? We have mm -hmm. never asked you for anything. Mm -hmm. If anything, I would promote you guys having a relationship, but let it not be that you are trying to get back with me. Am mm -hmm. I stupid? Mm -hmm. So it would be one of those things. So now, if you if you go in the the maintenance route, make sure you had to, you have all your receipts so that you can prove it because that's what they want. Get a garnish. They should garnish that amount from his salary. Yeah. So now the thing is that you guys don't need to talk about it. They should garnish it because he's not taking advantage. Now I'm working. But you can find a middle ground. You do not speak. Jamela. Hi. Yes. And then right. speaking, I have a situation here. Um, 2021, mm -hmm. uh, we have a couple of years. And due to a proper, I'm a about my status. Okay. And then, I'm going to talk And then, my yeah, relationship is yeah, no trust in my relationship. In, so I become like, you know what? Cause like I live here, cause on Sunday whatever I'm feeling, you know, cause no, I get so tired at all. So go back here, break up. Have it a family meeting, family meeting. Yeah, na babu, I say no, I'm done. I be just no, let me get done. Okay, I'm on the moon. I go so couple maintain one, twenty twenty one. So I put twenty twenty one as I'm maintain one at the whole twenty twenty one, twenty twenty two, twenty twenty three. I decided next I'm ready for two years. Twenty twenty three, I told him to wait, and then I decided to a court. And as I maintain one or two, tell as I didn't want the next. And I maintain one. How one I look away. I can't remember like the idea part with the winter everything. How I look away. Okay, sharp. I a court. The court here we are moving it. I'm tired of peace sleep. I'm tired of sleep. I'm tired of sleep. As much as mo eh, I say Abu Ari, I will really prove. Shabu, I will really prove. Many speaker who spend almost five thousand on one three years. How I get it? How is 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 it? Honeymoon, not do it. Go one out, which I eat. One out, one out, one out, one out. Okay, I don't care. It's a day, it's an aside. Go for what you're going to do. Someone at a school. I can't want a monkey shot and thing. Give me a monkey shot and thing. I'll call you. I'm afraid to go short. I'm going to boost the moon boost and day. I'm going to know. I'm going to cut you. I'm going to know. You know what? Every day. As soon. Okay, again, I'm going to be like, 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 Okupa Castelia man. Eva Tumba Mudin. The social again was okay. A mamma went out a I don't know. Mamma on a top of my own as a piece. So why about a Castelia one? Yeah, Luna Vasadi, Lenka, Ali, Ali, allow me, but not for a week or men eleven. But no, Kale allow if Mamma want a half or many one. You give him hoofer allowance, hundred per cent of one, not to learn and everyone of one o'clock of Melayan. I used to buy a 
not we used to. Hey, but we used to go on yet and I don't know. On a little friend, you know. So why is the malabo go fair one? On a little anger. Hmm. Why is the malabo go fair one? Only Peter, the only Peter that they. Oh, who the man I in? Hmm. Okay, but I'm not now. I get really family court first, but I grounded the in to the rules that rule. But okay, because every two weeks, what I'm saying, every two weeks I do the way. Mm-hmm. But apart from the one school fees, I regularly learn one the the about the school. I regularly learn one. I'm getting medical aiding, and then every every June, December, December, I'm regularly the about. And I did case go in. If I did case, what the moment I'm in court again? Mm-hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna speak. Why is it until I don't wanna lie? What they move pillow by one half? I don't know what matter. What they need. But but how to work? How to come? How to come for a medical card? How to get along with your parents? So is it or get along with your parents? Or or for mama when I tell it? Mhm. I or get along with. When I speak in Gariki, we think in Gariki we think we think we are more hinting from all our never. Is in catch how to work? So how how are you supposed to do it now? So guy I called again kababla ke ga hampe medical card a tla mele ke ha ngwana a kula tla mele ke mo fana ke loko doctor mm ke ga ngwana wa kula can you give me that numbers fail mm-hmm. give me that numbers i don't want anything mm-hmm. okay number ele and then by him can you tell me so doctor e one not so many doctors mm-hmm. next my dance speaker ha re ka ha re ka dia pa still sense di be ya ko ye so dia para ke mang when the clock he ba tung do you And <laughs> uh, can I can I also so that we... I yes she's there every step of the way she's there wa patala skolo wa reka problem ya gahe ha ba tsika medical card ha ba tsika di apparo so keep let's go you know what i make peace because the don't say get caught in now and then caught now and then so come again you know what Do your way. Karo appreciate the routine, and I love how you spend that night alone with Karo. I know I'm born to go that much, but go point less than two one. How when I go one day, and sometimes many speak like my phone. I ask for the phone. Or you must send me a WhatsApp. Next, or tell me after two days. You must get the day when I ask one. Or tell me Karo. Or tell Karo what you're No, it's some form of control. Remember when you are completely, you know, liberated from somebody to a point where you don't need them in anything. It's a problem. So when you are always calling him, always running after him, looking for all these things, it's some sort of control that he has over you, and he knows that once he surrenders those things to you, he won't have control over you anymore. So and he's enjoying that control that he has over you. I think there's somebody else who wanted to say something to you. Yes, you may. You, oh, you were so far uh, away from there. Thank you. You close. We can hear you now. Yes, I, I, I want to interject on Tapi. Is it Tapi, right? Mm-hmm. Mm. Is it Tapi or Tapi? Tapi. Ma Tapi. Okay. Okay. Ma Ma Tapi. I want to ask you a question so that I can be able to say something that I also wanted to say. Okay. okay. Why? is it wrong for the son or the daughter to go be with his father if his father says can i also have the child and stay with the child okay the reason why ke sa batlo mo fa ngwana ona le enga okay you see you want that you are using okay khomo fa khomo fa that that's his son also why why do you, do you have to use that vocabulary when you're talking about his son also homofa it's like you oh, are doing him a favor for but having his son but of una of una for the state so mina ngizoyenza if ngizomnika i full cast state umntana am naye umntana ka ngayi so if ngizomnika i full cast state mina ngenzani that means nithe umntana uyangihlula no umntana ha uhlule ga ga o palele ke ngwana thaphi ga o palele i get you can take you are capable as much as the father is also capable of taking care of his son why is it difficult for a woman to take the child and let the child be with the father and you also watch from a distance as he takes care of the son and you are also able to receive calls like can you send me the medical aid card why don't you watch those calls 
I have seen men who are able to change diapers left, right, and center. They are able to train their children left, right, and center. And these children grow up to be molded children who are very, very well respectable people. But the problem comes here. As a girlfriend or as a, the minute you call yourself a baby mama, that is where the problem will come. That is where the problem will come. Because you are not going to like the co-parenting idea to say, can the, the men have full custody of the child? Can the men have full custody? Oh, no, not my child. No. You see, now you are something? making it a personal yeah. property. Not my child. Not my child. Not my child. I cannot allow a man to take my child. I can't. But you are the one who is stressing in and out. You are having sleepless nights. You, you are having sleepless nights calling someone for a mere 500 puller that they could have taken care of if the child was there with them. You are at the hospital. Your child is sick. But because you failed to separate between breaking up with your boyfriend and maintaining a proper relationship with your boyfriend for the sake of your child and for a healthy child that is going to grow up in a well thought plan, I mean family planning status. No, you don't want that. We are all power hungry. This is what I'm saying. I'm creating a common ground so that people can start using their minds and they start thinking. This thing of saying, I cannot give him my child, he must pay, he must pay. He earns a better salary, he must pay. No, that salary is his salary. The way that he is going to decide to use it for his child is when he also feels that he is part of the child's life. There is no one, even you here women, you cannot enjoy sending money to America because your husband or your ex-husband is with a child in America there and you are sending money and the year goes in and the year goes out <laughs> and you can't even see your child. No. There is no one here who is going to be happy with that idea. You cannot be happy with that idea. There's no one here who can take a stand and say, if my boyfriend takes my son and goes and stays in Botswana and I send 5,000 every month to him, I will be okay. Forget about Ulwana. Focus on the point. He has a point. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, what is today? <laughs> Apostle, today you are not playing with us. We've been waiting for you. We've been waiting. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, so thank you. 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 Can I finish my story? Now, I do understand that the thing is to say, okay, move on. But my problem key is, I know my son is more than a lot. Every Friday, we talk to Mama Kya, we can't go Papa. Mama Kya, we can't go Papa. We understand. And then, we got to call it that bond. By Eva and Leon, by the two. So the problem is again that the thing. Can you go now? I'm going to do a part of the early. This is like a mo. Ah, well, my sister, when you are not hearing that the thing, that the thing is saying, give the brother the child. Can you say that? Then when you will give him maintenance. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, now let me just say something. I, I, I hear what she's saying. Mm -hmm. I hear what she's saying. It makes sense very much so, and it was well said. Mm -hmm. Now, where, where I want to put my two cents, it's not all men that are willing to take responsibility in that manner. Yeah. It's not all men that can do it the way you put it. Ne? With Tabi, it might be different. We might be understanding, it might be the way she's explaining it or putting it that is making us think that she is in a way selfish or she's not wanting to communicate or have a, a, a co-parenting in, in a manner that is supposed to be. We don't know their situation. Now with me, me specifically, I would give him the child if he was going to be a responsible father and raise the child. It's not happening that way. If I say, take your daughter, here, he, here she is, Musoman, take that same child and give that child to the mother. So basically, I'm giving my child to her grandmother instead of instead of him. He is spoiled. He is spoiled. 
so spoiled. He does not know what is responsibility. He does not know what to do as a parent. So why should I give him that child? I feel like I'm just saying, okay, give another one anyway. Because because I can't do that. I didn't bring the children this world, to this world for her grandmother. It's very unfair. No, your case is understandable. Makwala, your case is understandable. If you are saying we're not self, you are taking care of the child, ne? And then if the father wants the child, the father is the one who's going to take care of the child. But remember, some of us we have full time helpers. Meaning that even my ex, if he takes the kids and has a full-time helper and the kids can see him every day, then he stands a good chance of being that, that parent that the best interest of the child are with him. You understand what I mean? But in a case where you are giving somebody your baby, they are giving the baby away to somebody else. That one is not acceptable. Now, that's my dilemma when I'm at Adam's future. No, you don't have to give... Let me tell you. Get on, move. I do not want to go. Get on, move. I don't want to go. And then, okay, one, two, three, four. I don't mind for two I'll stop calling you. I'll stop doing whatever that I'm doing right now. Kutolo latela morao ka medical card. Kutolo latela morao ka 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 we maintain a wana. Is that this? If you go for wana for two months. You can able to take off from an hour. Mm. Uh, that one is a problem. Uh, that one is a problem. Let me tell you something, ne? No, I'm not. I kid you not, guys. I'm serious. If my ex can get a wife or a girlfriend, steady girlfriend, or, and have a home structure like the one that we had, ne? Where there's a mother, there's a father, there are children, and also a helper. Oh, I mean, by all means, I can, I can give him his children. I can give him, you know, because it's not even a matter of him giving me his money or anything like that. But if I'm going to give him my children and then you know, he gives them to his mother who does not even know how to calculate it, I'm not going to do that. You know, the, the double standard, the double standard that women go around carrying every day on their shoulders, it's amazing. <laughs> you know, it's amazing. The it's double, double standard, standard men of God. We have to what you saying? We have both my name is in Bali, Tlapo, and every day they are housekeeping, they are taking care of your children. And this baby daddies that you call your baby daddies and this ex-husbands that you call your ex-husbands, they are not there to control your environment. Mm -hmm. You have a, an auntie that these children have now turned into a sister. You have aunties that these children have turned into their second parents. You, you know, it's amazing. They're even calling them Gogo. And you are here with the double standard. Hi. The very same guy, the very same guy goes and hires a girl, and you come and you say, "I'm going to evaluate this girl." Who evaluated your Mbalin Chapo? Nah, you don't. I don't have to evaluate. Man of God, I think. I think. I think that is. Listen, listen. Hey. What business do you have in trying to see if this guy has a steady house that you guys had? as your ex-husband okay why can't you trust that this man is going to do the same thing that you are doing when the child is with you and for those people who are saying maybe i'm 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 i'm, 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 I'm ahead or something no it's just that the pastor in me sometimes we speak aloud and you know, we speak with passion so be here with me if it's okay you man of god now we know you are very passionate every time when you speak don't listen don't look at the comments don't mind them talk to me your sister yes that, yes, yes, Joyce, yes. You are speaking nicely. Uh, here we are, you know, uh, you are speaking nicely, especially based on co-parenting with the normal people. But now we are not co-parenting with the normal people. Now I've done that. I've given the guy his kids. But the problem, he has this uh, uh, conviction in where he can or he can take care of his kids, né? provided I don't see them. I don't have interaction uh, uh, with my kids. It, how is that possible? So wh what you're saying, né? It, 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 get the facts. But here, we're not dealing with normal people. Our baby daddies are not normal. I'm not thinking normal like this.
Bona, ne? Joyce, your, your case. It's not about Joyce. Emma, babe. Sister. That way. I agree with me, Joyce. Like, co-parenting with my sister. Uh, person, it's exactly. Yeah. And they, they, exactly. They go all the way to spite you. They, they don't care. Uh, those guys, the, the, the narcissistic uh, uh, baby daddies that we, we're dealing with every day, they don't okay. care about our kids. They they only care uh, to spite you. They, only, they come up with all sorts of ideas on how to spite you, on how to help you. Born, ne? Me Joyce. There was a time. There was a time where you shared your story. When we were talking on a topic of co-parenting with a narcissist, for those who don't know, you need to go and check that out because that's where I think those who know Sister Joyce, they know her from that um story where she shared about how co-parenting with a narcissist for her was such a terrible thing. But with what Ndadepenyo is saying now, man of God, you see when you say um. Now, for example, as an ex-wife, I have no business entering into the house of my ex-husband to say, who is saying the evaluation, you a monkey, monkey, man. Let me give you a story, ne? This is a true story of my life. Uh, my son okay. is turning 10 years this year, ne? Yeah. The woman that we stay with who is taking care of my children has been with us since my son was three weeks old. Meaning that even when the marriage was dissolved and everything, I have always kept the same people. Men of God, there will never be a day where I will take my kids to my home without asking their father for permission. There will never be a day where I will take my children anywhere else without their father's permission. Regardless of whether I'm taking them to my helper's place because now we are family or I'm taking them to my own family. So the same way, there will never be a day where I will be shocked that my kids have gone wherever when they're in the hands of their father without him letting me know. Not because there's this new way of me wanting to control him, but because even when we were married, we, that's how we were doing life. And even after we're married, one thing that I would like to keep standard is the well-being of my children to say, I don't want to shift them around and move them around from certain things. So that's why I'm saying that even if today we were to say, I'm taking my helper and my children and give them to my ex-husband, ne? nah. I would be okay with the same woman staying with them and his family and everything. I won't have a problem with that. I will only have a problem with him dumping them somewhere else and he is not there. Because remember, these people are gathered there because of him. And if he's not there, the same way that I have a full-time helper but I'm here with them, then I'm not going to allow that with my children. You see, what you are talking about there, it's a culture that the both of you have developed and have been accustomed to. Mm -hmm. But many people here don't even have a culture that they have accustomed to the both of them. Okay. So people are just living life as it comes, and when things go sideways, they expect perfection to surface. You cannot live life like that. Okay. You can't out of nowhere expect perfection to surface when you have never lived a life that had a culture that was well thought out and put into play. Some people here, Walter I agree, Madam Speaker, mm -hmm. They are still sleeping with their baby daddies here. And None. you heard them say in the comment section, you see that things are happening around the world. Mm -hmm. And people are expecting solutions in the midst of those things. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. We have people coming over and over for counseling sessions, women coming, men coming, and everyone has their story. And then you have to create a common ground. Mm -hmm. huh? You realize that people are lying to themselves. You are saying your baby daddy is toxic, but you are the one who is fueling that toxicity. You are saying your baby girl, your baby mama is toxic. You are the one who is fueling the toxicity of your baby mama, but people don't want to make peace with this reality. You, you, you understand? Mm. People don't want to make peace with this reality. Now, when it comes to children, people will use the child as a weapon. More especially the parent who is staying with the child. They will use this child as a weapon to say, I am going to show him my true colors. This guy doesn't know me. Hmm. So this is where the problem now comes to play. To say, we don't know. We don't know how to co-parent. Because the one who has a child will either use the child as a weapon or the guy who does, doesn't stay with the child will use their position 
as a weapon to say, I'm not staying with the child. So that child, when I buy things, they stay with me so that when the child visits me, they will stay with me because you don't want me to have access to the child. You will go into a guy's house as a pastor. You will go into a guy's house and you find that this guy has bicycles. This guy has old motorcycles for the child. This guy has clothes, proper clothes for the child. And now you realize that the woman is now getting bitter because the guy is buying things and putting at his own house because of the way they have been parenting all along. When you are throwing rocks at each other, there is no room for the child to stay. In Setswana, we say, mm. that is what we say in Setswana. Mm. When two big yeah, animals yeah, fight, yeah, yeah. it is the children that are going to struggle. Let's lose the toxicity, let's lose the bitterness, the both of us, so that when you stand on a podium like this and say, this guy is nonsense, we also can judge your character and say, ah, my sister, but you also, you also, Hallelujah, man of God. Somebody pass the offering basket. Can I please ask you something, please? Yes, mama. Okay. So the guy who only two years old as a maintainer, the last time I came over one, I think one of the other people did so. When I asked him, he said to me, "You know nothing." Ne? Kago case fine. The next day, kato wa kago go clinic. I kago clinic. They referred me to Paga. How I feel like I spent a lot of money. I go put this at home. I need to. I just want to please. I go find a girl. I go put my money. And I'm not your money maker. So I'm not your money maker. And then no, we are my local court, court children's court. What can get a man? How possible is that? On the sixth of May, I'm going to court. My sister, Mara, are they aware of the case? Yeah, the the broken Madam, arm of the child. Ma oh, okay. Madam sorry. Speaker. Yes, sir. We 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 need to have context. Are you hearing me? Yes. Even when you are reading the Bible, you need context. You can't jump to Luke chapter 15 and say, Jesus Christ said to them, go and find a woman, they will eat the Passover over there. We need to know where he was coming from to get there. Mm -hmm. So if, if, if you, you took the child, the girl to his father, and she came back with a broken arm, mm. and you go to the hospital and he disrespects you, it means this is how you guys have been living. So we need to know, do you guys have a, a good relationship when it comes to the child? Or I this is how you live? Because of, he's not maintaining at all. I'm all by myself. How possible is that? He did what? Mama, what happened? I mean, I want to understand what the issue of the the child having a broken arm. How did you resolve that? Because it can't just be a thing that you put on the side. Hey guy, over no one let's all live through Kuna. I got like it even next. And the Kizamilo Mugaba, I never will look at Chabot. Think I go. One would try to just like that. Where's someone come from Missa Clinic at the upper phone? And you left it like that. Six o'clock in the morning, I was going to clinic. Same time, they transferred me to hospital. But after that, Mama, you left it like that. That was, that yes. was a close chapter. Yes. Yes, now on Sunday, I was sitting, preparing myself to go to church. Yes. We have a paper for you. You are needed for court. You are the one who was supposed to actually report what exactly. you Exactly. Like now I decided, so please, okay, you know why? You should have to the court. I should have to the court. Emma Billy, my sister, Emma Billy, the support part. What are the support is the list of your problems now. We are talking the well being of the child. Emma Billy, support will get to it. Emma Billy, little happy. Oh, Panna. You see how many of you are here? If, if, if we don't talk, if we don't talk and create common ground, we are not going to learn. Mm -hmm. or more again. Yeah. We are not going to learn. I'm creating common ground. I'm, be, I'm being the enemy's advocate so that we see the clear picture. Mm -hmm. When I'm funny, is it funny or funny? Funny. You, 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 you made a mistake 
by calling yeah. someone and asking them what happened to the child and the, he, he didn't answer you as to what happened to the child and you went on to go and sleep. You were supposed to really take that issue serious to find out what happened with the child so that the uh -huh. person doesn't call police officers on you because you made a decision that was not supported by both the law and the man. But I, like I, 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 I didn't have transport. It was late. But this is a one one two. One one two. The police come to you. A report is made in order to open a case. But a report is made that Mama Mang Mang, Lingwana Mang Mang, or report one two three four five. You have a report that is solid that you can take to court and you can prove or when you've had an issue as so 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 and um, yes i'm going to use that i can see you my sister why why did you not open a case let me tell you something we were dating nicely after when i found out so it's where things change it never ever maintained the child yeah. 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 I can't live a lie life. Come cut her out. I've got the land to air ever since. It's two years old without not maintaining one. Can I leave bank statement again to prove? Ah, so what Let's go one. I I am I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I I whether you uh, you want to give your baby daily access to a child provided he support his yeah. child and uh, of, <laughs> of which it it ah kapa kimo la hai. But what's the meaning? You can live a fancy life, but you can't maintain your child. How possible is that? Oh, sometimes. Hey, 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 man of God. <laughs> sometimes it's not about the money. Sometimes we're not only that relationship. Okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Not 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 to buy alone, guys. I never. No, <laughs> no. not to buy alone. That is <laughs> Maintenance and child access. Yes, yes, Pastor. Hey, these are two different things that you must take to heart and know. You cannot say you will get access to the child on the basis that provided that. No, that is wrong. That is wrong. You can say you will get access to the child provided that. I never give first tell me to support the one. And then I never give the one. I have 50-50. Yes, no, so you must bear the accidents and everything that comes with that. Now you stop this is the one I go So I don't know what you want to do. What's going to happen? I'm going to rob a gun and I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I'm going to say, I check so everything. nothing can ever happen when we have a child. Okay, that happened. Kupu, what are something? Ne, kupu, I want you to tell me if I'm wrong. Ne, ah, onalimche ayamchaga. The guy onchatikina lumwa na ne. 
Okay. So, yes, I'm talking along and everything it was okay. Mom maintained on another by then. I was messing up in Umdana, I said, but after I come to turn to maintain one now, I wanna make maintain one now. Oh, I was so I wanna go get a guy walk on one now. But when you want to and have a you see how to live on a guy. Mara Mara, men of God, you want to talk to me, Mara. Men of God, how are you? I'm going to talk to you. No, I'm going to talk to you. I was pregnant. I was like, I'm going to talk to you today. I'm going to talk to you Monday. I'm going to talk to you. Okay. I'm going to talk to you. 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 And then, I'm going to talk to you. One understand. I give a new Still, I continue. I want to talk about two hours. I want to talk about And then problem. I tell them na 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 so I can't when I understand your position, Kaisi Muluse Okolo in Yas Gogwana. Let me say this so that I can. I can give other people a chance to also give their, their portion, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. I want you guys to first make peace with yourself that it did not work out. Oh. That is the reality that I you must come to terms with. So when you give the man of God a chance to speak, now I got about advice and now. Listen to the man of God now. I'm closing my submission okay. again. Okay. Yes. Oh. Make peace with the fact that it did not work out with the guy was go Bahana with the guy who works at FNB, with the guy who was going with Machonisa and stuff like that. Make peace with the fact that it did not work out. Yes, then yes. from there, heal from the old wounds. Heal from the old wounds. And respect yourself enough to say, I have healed. And now I have to look at the best interest of my child. That peace that you are going to gain is not for your baby daddy. It is no. for you as an individual so that yes. you can come to a healthy place to say, how do we take care of our child despite our differences and despite the fact that it did not work out between me and you? Yes. Now, I want to come here to say, people of God, whether you have a child here or you had a child with someone, make it a point to say, the person that you are going to make a child with, please find it in you and in God to say, I want to make a child with a person that I can be able to live without even when we are separated and I can have a, 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 a relationship that is not you know, managed by whether he gives me money or not, but it is a healthy relationship for the sake of the child. I am going to swallow my pride and he is going to be able to swallow his pride and we can be able to raise our child going forward. And as we were having this conversation here, I got to a point of realizing what you guys, many of us here 
here we are making children with people who are bipolar. We are making people with children who are mentally disabled. And we only get to be confident in that voice when we are no longer together. We can do better, people of God. We can do better. Find a person who is mature that when you break up, they will be mature enough to say, one again comes first and then the rest will follow. And stop this behavior of sleeping with your baby daddies and when things, things are now not working according to how you, fe you felt it will work out after sleeping with them, you are now stressed and you are fighting. You are using a child as a weapon of victory. No, no. Wow. Solo your pride Madam and move on. I want to, I want Make peace with yourself. Thank you. Moruti. Moruti, yes. I want to see the true colors. Mm. They will love bomb you. Wow. They will Best show you the, the right day. side. Up until. But I want to tell you a little bit. I want to tell you a little bit. Oh my kids, you know. She's surprised. Oh, too really. And how. After the, school, go on. I want to see the true colors after school, go on. You are opening another can of worms. I wanted to go. Knowledge. <laughs> red flags. Red flags will always be there. Oh. Red. My phone's battery will not end. It's my wife's battery, so it's always full. Okay. <laughs> now, here is the thing. For those who are saying, "Can move this phone battery die, please?" Now, here is the thing, knowledge. Red flags. Funi knows that there were red flags before, oh. even when the child was born. The very first day the child was born, the red flag was there. That guy did not call us to say, how are you feeling? That is a red flag on its own. That guy did not call you to say, how is the child? Is she okay? Is he okay? That is a red flag. And when you break up and the guy doesn't care about the child anymore, you are surprised. Hey, you are telling us our news. He was very, very responsible. I don't want to lie to you. He was very, very responsible. It started I keep going up so bad. I'm so bad. Could I be like oh yes, I'm next to a shop kill one. It's where it started as Zama Sapita is at a one next. And then you know I'm going to tell my sister I never give a fair one. I'm still saying it. My sister Pella, remember at the magistrates, you that, that's not that. how it works. Funi, you will be in jail. That man, my sister, that man, my sister. My sister. Oh, Funi way. Oh. Funi, Funi, Funi way. Let me tell you something, my sister. You are not titanium. You are not titanium, my sister. You will go there, you will tell the magistrate whatever you want. You will land yourself in jail. That man will take the child. And keep the child while you're in jail and the other child which he said he won't take care of because there's a big head will be left alone because when you think you are titanium please don't refrain from telling the magistrate where to get off Mara, what you are saying you're going to tell the magistrate withdraw withdrawn today before before you go to sleep if you were in america you wouldn't have those children they will be in the system right now as i'm talking to you ah. the way you are talking if you go to the magistrate and you say those things if you were mm. in america those children you would never see them they go into the system of the government and you would never see them do not say those things in court you 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 are not jesus to say you can do all things because magistrate uto shaba in the reaction and how uto shaba in the character so next time how about you go magistrate velo we miss a little and uto point that as they say if you go there with an attitude I carried the baby nine months you will come back without a child my sister I know the magistrate is telling her to give aside uto one time again uto one funina last time let me leave you now as a police officer. You come with attitude, you will land in Kosumampuru for days on you or, or that prison sunset because of your attitude. How about a player who's told me, oh, my all right, oh, my representative. Don't come there with your boobs out, with your attitude, with your chappies and chowing and whatever. And listen, be quiet, hand up. And that's it. Or otherwise, you don't need them to know. Say, "Kai, you don't need to spend days on the phone to allow them to talk about what you want to eat. You just go on about what you want to eat. You just browse. You just browse. You 
Madam Speaker, community WhatsApp group. And at least, Funi, this is urgent. Do these things before you go to court. Otherwise, you will come back like this. Yes, you need to do it before you go to court, Mama. Give yourself yes. that hour or that, that day and just be in your space of quietness. Yeah. And just always understand all the story because Lampala Funi, you don't need to go there with an attitude. You need to, yes. If you go with any attitude, you need to go with an attitude to go and win for your kids, to mm. go and be right, do right for your kids. Mm. Because honestly speaking, I don't have a lot of when you need to go there with a solid mind and a heart set in the correct way. Mm. Amen. No. I understand that for me, I was like, I keep my children that Do you get me? Yeah. 
So for those who don't know about the foundation, guys, listen up, listen up, guys, just give me a chance. For those who don't know about the foundation, we have a, a, a WhatsApp group called Madam Speaker Foundation. Eh? Uh, so what you can do for you to be part of that group, if you check on my bio, you will see there's a number, there's a 081 number there. If you take that number and you send it in WhatsApp text and you say hi, there will be an automated message that comes through to you. At the bottom of that message, there's a link which is going to lead you to the WhatsApp group. You will find people like Bo Joy is there and Bo Felicity who are going to accept you into the group. You get in there, you vent, you share your stories. There are people of all professions yes. in that group that will hear you out and they will help you and they will comfort you. So we are a family in Madam Speaker Foundation group. Profession mm. can fail. I want a profession Yes. I used to be like Yes, man of God. Yes, please. Uh, Fune? Yes. You, you are going to heal, okay? Yes. You are going to find comfort. Are you with me? You, you are going to find restoration. Yes. And the tears that you are crying right now, yes. they are a sign of strength. Yes. For you to be able to cry in the midst of people that you don't know and you have never been with before, it's a sign of strength. Mm -hmm. Now, yes. I need you to take that strength and channel it and find peace within that strength. That peace is going to be the one that enables you to persevere in any form of hardship. Mm -hmm. yes. As a person who grew up without parents, I know the traumatic events that follows and how the need to have a parent comes to light and you are unable to have a parent. But I want to tell you this. You are the parent. You are enough. You are enough and you can do anything that a two-headed family can do. Within the strength that makes you to be able to cry here today, you are able to take care of that child. You are able to take care of those children. That guy is not your source of strength. That guy is not your source of peace. Joy is from within. Peace is from within. And the minute you transform these tears and you find your peace in them, you are going to be able to do anything and everything that you have ever desired for your children. Start with yourself so that your children look at you and they can also say, wounds can really heal. Pain can really go away. Love is present and it is real. We can touch it and they can touch it from you. They will know love through you. Forget about that guy who says your child's head is too big and stuff like that. Focus on yourself and your children and strengthen will find you on the way. Love, yes. joy, peace will find you on the way. Now, when you do this and you forget about the pains that have been caused by other people, the rejection that comes with not having parents, I know that my parents died long ago in 1994. I've never seen them. I've never laid eyes on them very long time ago. But today I'm speaking to you. I am a married man. And I do not wish, I always tell my wife, I do not wish for my child to live a life without parents. Even in my absence, I am now sharing these personal experiences with you so that you can know that you are not alone. I am getting vulnerable so that you can know that you are not alone. I grew up without parents and I always tell my wife, 
I don't want my child to go through what I went through. Even if we are to separate on the basis of what is eating us, the two of us, I want what is best for our son. And I pray to God that the Holy Spirit continues to guide us that even when we are separated, we can love ourselves enough to be able to outpour that love into our children. It is unfortunate that you don't have that support system. Now build that support system within yourself. You can be that support system yourself. You can be that support system and your children miss you more than they need him or they need them that have left you. Mm -hmm. Seek comfort in that knowledge that you are enough. Find comfort in that knowledge that you can be happy in the absence of other people. This will pass. Yes. It will pass, Amen. it will pass, it will not stay the same way. So Amen. I wanted to say this when, when you were talking also. Women, please stop this behavior that when people come to you, you are unable to tell them the truth. You are always giving a shoulder to cry on, but you cannot give a table to lay things and people can see the reality of their actions. Let us stop this behavior of when people come to us, we only show the good side of what has been done wrong to them, but we cannot take charge of our own responsibilities in the events that are unfolding around us. I don't know if I'm making sense. Mm -hmm. yeah. ah. Let us tackle things from both perspectives so that we can heal from old wounds. Because the minute perseverance comes to me and say, he's, he's cheating on me, he's doing one, two, three, and then I do not also say, it is well, mama, you, you will heal. I do not also say, but perseverance, what are you doing yourself? What are you doing? Let us also be a shoulder to cry on, but also a table to lay every dirty cloth on the table so that we take responsibility of our shortcomings also. May God bless you. May God increase you, people of God. I love you so much. Please learn from these platforms. Don't just only come to make your point heard and you don't learn anything. God bless you. Have a blessed night. Shalom. Thank you so much, man of God. You know we appreciate you. You are such a blessing to us. Thank you so, so much. Yo, we're going to have to love you and leave you. Ne? I think for today, this is where we stop. I am so overwhelmed, but I hope everybody had and they, they have their own scuffing to take home. Uh, I'm going to be around this weekend, so we might have to do another live, but it's going to be one of those random lives. But I feel like we need to do a part two of this one. Um, let's see. Can we agree? You guys, and when we agree, you guys never show up, yes? Because I can see we have 11 people who are on the line here requesting to join, and unfortunately... We can't join because it's it's late now. You know, tomorrow we are hashtag Gamlungu. Can we agree on a time where we can do our part two? We can do our part two tomorrow. Uh, me, I'll be available from 12 o'clock. I'm available from 12 o'clock midday. Can we do it in the evening? In the evening. So we can do same time. We can do uh, uh, 7 o'clock tomorrow evening. Yo, yeah, that's perfect. And I had said that we're going to do a competition, but unfortunately time is out. Ne? Time is not on our side anymore. Maybe we can... I'll try to find a time to do the competition, guys. Ne? For those who are around the East Rand, we are, I'm giving away four tickets to go see Takindo on the 20th of April. He's going to be doing his live recording there. So, uh, unfortunately now, I don't... Like, honestly speaking, I didn't think we were going to go beyond, like, literally two hours. So, we're going to have to leave for now. I'll, I will do another live and then where we will be able to give away the four tickets that we have for Takindo on the 12th, 20th of April, which is going to be in Big Top Arena, uh, Carnival City. But for now, I have to love you and leave you. Okay? I apologize. So tomorrow we are meeting again. Maybe we can do... You. Maybe we can do the, the, the tickets giveaway tomorrow before we start with our order of the day, which is going to be tomorrow at 7. We start with the, um, with the giveaway for like 15 minutes. After that, we continue with our, um, with our part two of um, this, what do you call this thing? Giving access to, to baby daddies and all that stuff. For now, I love you. God bless you and good night. Thank you so much for joining in. Love you. Bye. Okay, bye. Good night, good night, good night, good night, my darlings.